Capitals hosting the Rangers in the first half of a home and home, and the Rangers are minus 164 on the money line. The Capitals are plus 136. The over under is five and a half goals. The Rangers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Capitals getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 182, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one, you win. It's supposed to be Cooper and Shesterskin, but neither goaltender has been confirmed for tomorrow's game. And for those who are asking why I'm doing it so early, I have something I have to do tomorrow morning, so I figured I'd knock these out because most of the teams from the NHL don't play today. Now, head-to-head, -head, these teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The favorite winning these games by multiple goals, laying a goal and a half on the puck line, is 6-4. and four. There's been one one-goal game in their last 10. The over-under is 4-4-2. Four, four and two. The over 5.5 goals is 6-4. and four. The home team's on a two-game winning streak, and the home, um, the home team is 7-3 and three in their last 10. They've played each other twice this year, and the home team won both games and won both games by multiple goals. The Capitals won 4-0 at home. The Rangers won 5-1 at home. The Rangers are on a three-game losing streak. They are 1-3 in their last four. There was five goals, seven goals, nine goals, and seven goals. They scored four goals in a win, three goals in a shootout loss, three goals in a loss, and then two goals in a loss. The goaltending has not been what it's what we're accustomed to seeing out of Shesterskin. He's having a down year. And for the Capitals, they're one in three in their last four. Nine goals, eight goals, seven goals, and five goals. Three goals and a loss, two goals and a loss, four goals and a win, one goal and a loss. They're another team. Their goaltending has not been good. They've given up at least three goals in every one of their last eight games and in nine out of their last ten. I understand that the stats say take the home team. I think this is going to be one of those games that uh, people are going to hope is over early. Rangers with the money line, Rangers laying the goals, and the over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.